This is a Staco 033-3593 Variac that I uh, recently acquired. And uh, when I first got this thing home, I realized that uh, somebody had spliced the, the power cord. And uh, what they had done was they had left the ground wire off and the hot and neutral leads on the uh, the cord that had been spliced on were actually backwards um, so <clears throat> I'm not sure if this thing works or not uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this cord all the way out instead of splicing it and uh, replace it with this other cord that I have uh, lay that I had laying around uh, in my junk box um, the only problem is is that the original cord is a 16 amp cord and uh, our 16 gauge cord and uh, this is 18 gauge, um, but I think I should be okay. 18 gauge wire should be good for 15 or 16 amps, and it looks like the max current draw on this thing is uh, potentially 10 amps, so not quite as much margin of safety as you'd normally like, but it should be functional uh, for what I'm going to use it for. Um, but at first glance, everything seems okay. I mean, everything seems to move good and you know the, the switch seems to operate. I guess I'll pull the fuse out and have a look at that. Fuse looks good I guess. I could check it with a meter I guess to be sure but but um, so I think I'll swap this cord out and uh, see if it uh, powers up and does what it's supposed to. Alright so I've got the cover off and I've, I've ended up cutting the wire. So this is where the ground lead goes, just to the chassis. It's kind of soldered to this tab here. And then the uh, the hot and neutral leads are cut down there. And uh, go to the just the main power switch there. So um, I guess now what I'll do is get this cord situated and uh, I'll probably just connect, connect to these cut leads here and shrink tube everything up probably be the easiest thing to do. Okay, so I've got these uh, wires all soldered up at the ground there. And I got the uh, line in neutral down there, soldered them up and did put some shrink sleeve on there. And uh, now I've got the cord and uh, one of the things I meant to do and I forgot is I was going to run a piece of fatter shrink sleeve up here to shrink around the, the cord where this uh, strain relief goes through the case. And I uh, forgot to do that, so I guess I'll just bulk that up with tape if I need to, uh, so that the strain relief clamps on here uh, nice and tight. Alright, so I think I'm just about ready to go here. I got the case installed, and I got the cord and the strain relief in place. I uh, got it plugged in, got the voltage all the way down. And I guess we'll just turn it on here and see, get the meter hooked up, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so with the voltage at zero, we're actually getting a little bit of leakage there, which is more or less what I would expect, I guess. And we'll just slowly rotate this up and see what we get. dial seems like it's pretty accurate. That's right about 40 volts and that's about what the meter is at. Crank it up to 70. And there we are, 120. Okay, so I've unhooked the meter. <clears throat> and I've just plugged in this desk lamp here just to give it a test. So right now we're at zero. I'll crank it up and oh, get some life there. Get up to about 50 volts. There's 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. And there's 120. So there we have it. Everything seems to be in order. So this will be a useful addition to the shack.